first derivative is 2x plus 1 equals 0. And then the second derivative will be just a constant 2. So you can see that there's um, it's always concave up. No inflection. And then uh, it's fallen when x is less than minus a half. It's rising when x is more than minus a half. And there is a minimum at x equal to minus a half. Let us check the answers. Increasing, decreasing, minimum, always concave up, no inflection. 230 first derivative is 3x squared plus 4x cubed which will be x squared times 3 plus 4x needs to equal 0 so that will be when x is 0 or minus 3 over 4. Second derivative is 6x plus 12x squared needs to equal 0. So that's 6x times 1 plus 2x equals 0. So that would be, well, x equals 0 and x equals minus 1 over 2. We have a problem here with 0 twice. So now the third derivative will be 6 plus 24x and the third derivative at 0 is positive. So let's see what we get. Um, let's start off with x is 0. So it's actually a rising saddle when x is 0. And then when x equals minus 3 over 4. So if you put minus 3 over 4 into the second derivative, what do we get? Let's have a look. You get a positive, so that makes it a min. Uh, let's see, when will it be rising? When will it be falling? Then we want the inflection. Then we want the concave up and then the concave down. Okay, so rising when the first derivative is a positive. This doesn't affect the sign, so it's when this is a positive. So it means when x is more than minus 3 over 4. And then falling when x is less than minus 3 over 4. The inflection is when the second derivative is 0 which happens when x is minus a half. Concave up is when the second derivative is positive. So when is this second derivative positive? When both are positive or when both are negative. So uh, both will be positive when x is more than zero. See, this is a quadratic, so it's kind of like this shape here. So positive would be when x is more than zero. Uh, I, I, I mean to say when x is when x is more than zero or x is less than minus a half, and then concave down is when x is between zero and minus a half. I want to graph this to check the answer.
x cubed plus power four. So let's check my answer. Rise in saddle at zero, correct. Minimum at minus three over four, correct. Rise in when it's greater than minus three over four, correct. Fall in when it's less than minus three over four, correct. Inflection at minus a half, so it goes from being convex to concave. Although there's, uh, oh, another inflection at zero. Yeah, okay, I missed that one. Forgot about that, the rising saddle. Oh, there it is there, rising saddle, which by the way is also an inflection. Um, concave up when x is more than zero, or when x is less than minus a half. Yeah, and then concave down in between. I think we're okay. Uh, 